well <laughs> it's a frosty winter's day in california ladies and gentlemen welcome of course to the man cave here at wistful vistas in beautiful suburban san diego california and it's cold it's uh something like 60 degrees 57 to 60 degrees f i'll tell you what that is in c uh, but it's cold. It's cold enough that it sort of makes you think twice that you want to go do a uh, ride on the motorcycle. And we've had a little bit of rain at the beginning of the week. I'm going to apologize to a person named JW. This gentleman has been visiting California from one of our great Midwestern states. And I hope or I think that maybe he came here thinking, hey, I'm going to hit the tropics, it's going to be warm. And we threw rain at him in some of our coldest days in recent memory. But we do have sunshine. It is sunny out there. However, it's cold. But that's not what we're talking about. We are talking about Dionese safety jackets, which it's always been kind of interesting to me that they call this a jacket because I think it's, I'd call it a safety vest, but uh, I don't know the terminology and there may be reasons why they chose a uh, jacket over vest. Let's see if I can negotiate this out of here. Now I've had this for two years now, probably if in fact a little longer than two years. It's charged, you can tell because it has that green flashing uh, LED. And I just received a letter from them that said that there is a new update available for the uh, jacket. I think this will be about the third update I've installed. Not entirely sure about that, but what they do, I suppose, is update the functions and uh, some of the uh, algorithms that are incorporated in it for, uh, for safety and to keep it up to date. But uh, really can't complain about this vest. Uh, the uh, thing is comfortable enough to wear. Certainly haven't crashed on it don't intend to do that. But I thought what I'd do is just share this update again with the folks out there who might have one of these. So uh, we can tell it's fully charged. It's got the green LED flashing. The uh, charge port is at the bottom of the jacket and it is underneath a zippable enclosure. Not too sure that that'll come out, but you can zip this enclosure shut once you get on the bike and get ready to go. Now I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to do this uh, sometimes a little tough to get at it and it goes a little crazy there. It's a lot of red. It says, hey, I'm not happy. I'm not plugged in anymore, but <laughs> it goes to red and then it stops. So uh, now we're going to take it inside to the office and plug it into the computer and see if we can update it and uh, Hope you enjoy a little quick ride along with us. Stand by, we'll get to that. All right, I'm back in the office here. Beautiful, wistful vistas office uh, where stuff happens. I do the editing and things in here. Read a lot of books. Uh, just read this one, Longitude. Highly recommended if you're a nerd. <laughs> But uh, very interesting about how people navigated. So I brought the vest in to the office. And uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, need to put my reading glasses back on here and drop the cord on the floor. <clears throat> and you use the uh, same cord that you do for uh, charging it to connect it to the computer. It's a USB-C connection. It's sometimes a little tough. It's, it's down in there. Sometimes just a little bit tough to tell that you have it connected. So uh, now I'm going to switch. Um, let's make sure I've got enough computer cable to get around the back. Yes, I do. So now I'm going to uh, switch uh, perspectives with the where I have the camera set up and let you see into the screen as I connect it and hopefully successfully down, <laughs> download the software or the firmware, excuse me, firmware update. Let's get that right. It's a technical thing. 
All right, so uh, stand by. So uh, here we are at the computer. I've connected the charging cable to the jacket itself and uh, I've opened up the D-Air app. It's on my computer. I'm now gonna plug the USB port into the back of my computer. Wish me luck. <laughs> it says system disconnected, so it's looking, it's looking to uh, set up and join up. My uh, iMac has an empty USB port, so just connected. And uh, hello, what's happened? Nothing. Oh, there we go. Now it says warning, a new update is released. Update the system. So it takes a moment for it to communicate back and forth. Install firmware. Uh, current firmware is 1.2.5. Latest firmware release 1.3.0. Let's go to install. And uh, we will now we will now enjoy ourselves watching paint dry. <laughs> but uh, let's, uh, let's see about how long this takes to update here. Uh, tracking, I'm tracking with Mickey on my wrist here. It's, it's going quickly enough. Now I have a, uh, I have a hard wire connection to the house Wi-Fi. I don't know, but I don't know if by the way you can see this is flashing. Uh, through its colors. The LED is flashing through its colors as it is doing the update. But I've got a hard wire connection to my in-house modem for the computer. So this is about as fast as you can get in terms of domestic uh, internet connection speed. Wow, that's a mouthful. Almost makes me sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know how true that is. Okay, running at 90% here and uh, coming up on 100, 1%. Now it's installing the system. Do not do the USB, do not disconnect the USB cable from the system. Uh, wait, our job is to sit and wait. Maybe we'll put a stopwatch to this segment later on uh, and see exactly how long this takes. But so far, I'd say well under uh, two to three minutes anyway. But uh, they give you a nice little graphic, shows it uh, flashing around here. Uh, now this is all via hardware. The only way to update this is via the hardware, uh, excuse me, hardware to the computer. You can download the software or firmware over the net but the installation jacket to uh, computer has to be via hardware. Continue with the update. Okay, let's do the install. Transferring files. This one seems to be running pretty quick. Once again, we have some nice flashing colors going on there. Running around. Uh, what do you see? I see red, blues, and greens. Transferring files, do not disconnect the USB cable from the system, and wait. So we'll wait. Update of the system. Uh, it would be, I think, a little helpful if they would tell you exactly what part uh, of the update is going on. In other words, uh, where you are in uh, the firmware installation to the jacket. Now I'm getting a haptic out of the jacket and we've got a steady flashing green. So I think that's going to indicate once we're through, the system is already correctly updated to its later version. Firmware 1.3.0 release, recovery 1.0.0 receive. So um, in the app, there are really only three things you can do. You can register a new purchase, a new acquired uh, jacket or vest. You can put it into shipping mode. Shipping mode disarms it so you can legally and safely carry it, for instance, on an airplane or at the bottom of a big uh, suitcase if you're carrying along. 
and uh, that allows you to put it into and out of shipping mode. And then uh, you can do the system update, which is, which is what we've just done. So uh, that's it. It's, it's no harder than that. And uh, I'll do a little update later on on my uh, writing impressions with the D-Air uh, safety system. I think that the D-Air safety jacket. They should have what they call it there. All right, that's it. Signing off. Pray for warmer weather in California, please. <laughs> Talk to you later. So surprise, I'm back. <laughs> after, <laughs> what am I laughing about? I'm back. Anyway, uh, so after having updated the uh, software over with the computer, uh, I was just gonna go put it back on the uh, charging uh, wall, but I thought what I would do is give you a little closer glance at where and how that uh, charge port is connected. It's here in the bottom of the jacket. And when you're about to write, what you do is you remove that, which we will do there. You put this little tab over the uh, charging port. It's got a little Velcro attached to it. And then there's a, a zipper closure here. A little tough to do all this, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're sympathetic to my plight. Um, you close this like that and that means it's more or less weatherproof there and then uh, you'll put it on right now you will note please that there's no action coming from the uh, LEDs on this side of the safety vest so I'm going to open it up and put it on pretend that uh, I was going to go out for a ride And uh, I don't hope I don't cover up this, my microphone here. Try to keep that up so you can hear me. Why would you miss that? And then I'm going to uh, zip it up, line up the zipper, and the connector that tells the motorcycle safety jack of the Dainese, uh system that it's ready to go is here. It's this metal tab connecting to uh, that metal tab. And I'm going to I zip it up all the way, and I make sure those metal tabs are connected, which they will do in just a second. There it goes, and you can see now that it's flashing, and it's going to go to a steady a blue state. When it's in a steady blue state, that means it's armed, it's got battery charge, it knows it's on a person, more or less, and it's ready to go. Then when I get on the motorcycle, start up the motor, the motor vibrations tell the jacket uh, essentially that we're riding and we're ready to go. And this will then turn to a green state. Now, you, typically I wear this under a jacket so I can't uh, see the green state, but at the same time it goes to a green state, it'll give me a haptic and say, okay, you're on the machine, it's running, and uh, now I'm armed and ready to go. And the good news about that is that uh, it does help in a stationary situation. If you are hit while you're stationary on a running motorcycle, depending upon the severity, it will deploy under those circumstances. So that, that's, a, that's a plus because some of the earlier generation uh, safety vests did not do that. Well, hopefully you can hear all this because I've covered up the speaker, or excuse me, the microphone, but just giving you a little update on how it looks and how you put it on and everything like that. All right, that's it. Now I promise that's it. Talk to you later. Ride safe. Hey. <laughs>